So this behind me is a rare example of a disused railway tunnel which until very recently was still in use. Most disused railway tunnels in Britain actually went out of commission in the 60s and 70s. Uh, whereas this one uh, was still used all the way up until 2009. So it both looks and feels very, very different to most of the tunnels you can find in Britain. Um, except there's another one just on the other side. So today I've come back to my hometown of Oldham, thank you, uh, to look at this, this epic railway tunnel, this disused railway tunnel, and the one beyond that as well, there's two tunnels to look at, but also to look at the rest of Oldham's uh, railway history um, and see what happens to it. How did this big industrial town on the edge of Manchester in northwest England um, go from being chock full of railway infrastructure to having virtually nothing left at all. What happened? Like, how did this big town just lose all of its railway heritage? So this is Oldham, once a thriving cotton town, often claiming to be the cotton spinning capital of Britain at one point. It was also an incredibly important town on the railway system in the 19th century, with 22 stations and halts falling within what is today Oldham Borough. Today, only one remains, Greenfield Station which is on the Huddersfield line and is miles away from the town centre. Oldham town centre was railway mad, a landscape of cotton mills on a hillside overlooking Manchester, serviced by two major passenger stations and two major goods depots. The first line to enter Oldham was opened in 1842, just 12 years after the Liverpool Manchester Railway made trains the future of public and industrial transport. It branched off from the Manchester Leeds line, from here in Middleton to here in Werneth, which included an incline of 57 metres, the steepest working railway incline in Britain. But it was still too far from the town centre, and so plans were drawn up to bring the railway into part of town called Mumps. This meant tackling some high ground, and subsequently two tunnels were cut. When it was later extended to Rochdale, the famous Oldham Loop was created circling the town with rail. This lasted for 146 years, until 2009 when it was taken over by the Metrolink Light Rail System, until that diverted into the town centre, leaving this part of the line here empty. So today that loop line is used by the Manchester Metrolink System, until it gets to Werneth, and then it goes into the town centre of Oldham. So this bit of track bed here, the old loop line, is abandoned. So, I want to have a look down here, see if there's anything left to see. But also, to go in those two wonderful tunnels uh, down that, at the Werneth end, um, to see just the engineering challenge of bringing the railway age into this booming cotton town. So where I am now is the old track bed of that loop line. Um, and as you can hear, I'm stood right next to uh, the bypass in Oldham, so the dual carriageway which swings to the south of Oldham. Um, this is the old uh, footbridge, which until very recently was actually still open. It could take you right the way across the bypass. Um, but yes, so the trains would come from Rochdale, across the famous Mumps Viaduct, through Mumps Station, and then swing southwards around the town centre towards Manchester. Um, so yeah, as you can see, today it's nothing. So the problem with the Metrolink taking over the line was that everything along it was obliterated. So I've just been to Mumps Station, where the station used to be, and there's nothing there. It's just completely flattened. There's not a trace of it left. The old subway, which you had to get to get to the station, that's gone. You can't find it, and it's all overgrown. Um, so yeah, unlike other disused railway lines you might find, which were just disused and abandoned and forgotten, where you could find loads of relics of the past. This Oldham Loop line, there's no relics of the past. Um, so yeah, big, big shame.
Right, so now I'm on the bridge over Waterloo Street, which is all the way down there. That's heading south, by the way. Um, and over here used to be a signal box, an old railway signal box, which I distinctly remember every time I caught the train um, from Oldham to Manchester, looking out the window, trying to see the signal box because it used to flash by. Um, but yeah, sadly, it's not there anymore. So immediately after the signal box, all these sidings kind of billowed out into Clegg Street Station, which was where the small retail park is uh, today. So basically where Matalan is in Oldham was Clegg Street Station. Um, and then there was another line which bent southwards towards Ashton. Um, and unfortunately, that's not there anymore as well. That's all been flattened. So on this line though, um, adjacent to Clegg Street uh, was Central Station. Uh, which was just there where you can see the brick bridge coming up now. Uh, that bridge itself is Clegg Street Street. <laughs> now there's some great old photographs of uh, both Clegg Street and Central Station. Neither very big, especially Central Station, not very big, but very typical of Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway uh, station architecture with the cast iron columns and the ornate uh, canopies, but, uh, beautiful pictures. So Clegg Street Station was uh, the largest of Oldham stations uh, with a hydraulic lift, four platforms and the only one with refreshment rooms. Now it was always a large goods depot, um, taking in everything from large bales of cotton, um, coal and lime, things like that. But by the 1960s, a lot of the cotton mills around here had been taken over by mail order companies. So um, Clegg Street Station became a kind of uh, a new lease of life as a mail order depot. Right, so on we go into Central Tunnel. Um, it's not a particularly long tunnel. Uh, it's about 433 meters, if that. Um, but it's long enough and dark enough to give me the willies, so yeah. So as you'd expect, there's quite a lot of these at the side, the bits people could step in when a train's coming through the tunnel. Um, it's quite interesting that there's stone on the wall there and then it goes up to brick. I always like that, I always like that, I don't know why stone and then brick um, so very interesting that's the whole way along as well i think um, so far it has been uh, but there's lots of other bits you can see the floor is um is stone it's still the the, the stone that had the track bed on it this is still the track bed basically without the track um, but also there's there's all these bits of concrete there's bits of paraphernalia everywhere you know it showed that it was dismantled but left as well so look at this, this um, look how much these stones have eroded over the years. I mean, look at that. I've never seen stones quite so like dramatically eroded. And I don't know why, I don't know what could have caused that. Um, I mean, that's just coming apart in my hands. Um, yeah, is it water? I don't know, I've just never seen that before. But that's, yeah, that's amazing. It's, um, it's not good for the tunnel though. <laughs> Right, I didn't realise this at the time, but I was actually pretty close to the middle of the tunnel here. So, this wall on the outer side of the curve has likely been eroded by winds travelling through the tunnel over the last 170 odd years.
Okay, so I've just come out of Central Tunnel there and now I'm in this quite deep cutting. This is the deepest cutting in Oldham. Um, and yeah, it's only very short. You can see the other tunnel entrance down there, you know, the other portal of the tunnel down there. That is Werneth Tunnel. I'm hoping I can get through this overgrowth to get there. Um, as usual, I'm gonna end up battling through some vegetation, uh, but I think it'll be all right. I think it'll be all right. Um, it's crazy being down here though, because I can hear the bypass and I can hear there's a there's somebody drilling something up there. I don't know if there's a works or something. Um, uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a strange feeling. I've never, never even thought about this part of Oldham before, let alone thought about coming down here. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what is around. <laughs> but yeah, it's great. I mean, these tunnels, I mean, look, look at the mouth of that tunnel. Look at the portal to that tunnel. Look at the shape, it's just huge. More Buddleia. It's like the Buddleia tour of Oldermiss. <laughs> right, so this is a pretty good example, right? Because what I'm not looking at here is 19th century railway infrastructure, really. I'm looking for it. But most of what I've got around me is from the 2000s, the early 2000s, when this was uh, converted from a railway line into a Metrolink line temporarily. So this, to me, looks like it's yeah, the past 20 years. So from that era when it was turned into a Metrolink line. I'm not sure exactly. A bit of a retaining wall or something. I don't know, drainage behind there. Um, but yeah, so it's a old but new kind of journey I'm doing today. I'm looking at. So I'll keep looking. Right, so this is the other tunnel. This is Werner's Tunnel. And you can see it's, it's built very much structurally the same. It's got that same um, kind of distinctive shape. Uh, this one is shorter and it's a straight line, it's a dead straight line. The other one had a slight bend in it, so you couldn't see either end. Well, you couldn't see the other end unless you got to the halfway point. This one, I can see the other end and I can see how short it is. So that's quite reassuring actually. So again, like the last tunnel, you've got stone at the bottom and then brick. Um, but there's, there's signs of more recent repairs here, so fresher bricks there. What's that like, last 30 years or something? Uh, yeah, it's quite interesting. Um, there's like an excess of mortar put between the bricks there, like all over, just like too much mortar. Not sure why they've done that. Must be a reason, good reason for it. Um, it makes a nice pattern though. Uh, so yeah, let's keep going. Right, so this is the end of the line for me. Beyond there uh, was the old Werneth station, Oldham's first ever station and a very, very busy uh, goods depot back in the day. At the moment, this area has been used uh, for a private business, um, a, a haulage company, I think. Um, so I can't go beyond this gate. Um, it'd be nice to see the portal properly from the other side. Um, but yeah, sadly not. Um, so from here, the line went in a straight line all the way to Middleton Junction um, and it was a shockingly steep hill going down to there so much so that the, the line coming up in the opposite direction became known as the Werneth Incline and it was the steepest railway incline in the country um, that was superseded when they built a second line years later which would take um, well, put a new line which take the railway through Failsworth and Hollingwood that way and made the Werneth Incline and the Middleton Junction connection a bit defunct. Um, but yeah, steepest railway incline in the country was just down there. So what about the rest of Oldham? A second line entered from the east, which was a branch line connecting the town to Huddersfield. There was also a minor railway which branched off into Delft called the Delft Donkey Line, which I'll look at 
in another video. A third line from the south connected Ashton to Oldham via Park Bridge. Finally, the main Oldham line was extended up to Rochdale, thus creating the Oldham Loop Line. Like many places in urban Britain, Oldham's railway story is one of incredible growth in the 19th century and slow decline into the 20th. Many of the lines around and into the town suffered during the beaching cuts of the Macmillan and Douglas home governments, but managed to retain two main line connections, the Huddersfield line through Saddleworth and the Oldham Loop line running from Manchester to Rochdale. Craig Street Station was closed in 1959 and then Central Station closed in 1966. The Loop Line was finally killed off when the Metrolink light rail system was brought to Oldham. Mumps and Werneth eventually closed. With the closure of the Loop Line, Oldham became one of the largest town centres in the country without a mainline railway connection. Right, so I'm back in the cutting now out of one tunnel heading towards the Bendy Tunnel and back to where I came from. Uh, but yeah, but having seen both tunnels now, I know that neither of them are in a sorry state of repair. Both are very structurally sound. So the reason Oldham lost its railways hasn't to do with any sort of major million pound investment that it needed in something like the tunnels. It was just kind of, it must have been a, a combination of people just favoring the cars um, over trains and of course, the massive privatisation and the underfunding that the railways got anyway. Um, I remember getting the, the train from Oldham Mumps into Manchester, a long time ago now, and uh, the, the station was just decaying, it was just falling apart and there was just no investment. So it's not surprising that passengers were put off, I was put off. Sometimes I just think, today I'm going to get the bus. So that's what happens to the railways, if, if you don't fund them, if you don't give them the investment they decay and then they go away and we end up with something like this which was built hundred and odd years ago you know going harking back to the earliest days of the railways in Britain which is a wonderful um, structure it's, it's clever what they've done is cut two tunnels um, in the first place I mean Oldham was difficult to get to because it's on such a hill and they figured it out and it's just yeah, you get these just sat here, like two sleeping giants. So what I want to do in the next video is look at the other side of Oldham, where there still is a mainline train connection, um, but also what was lost as well that way, because a lot was lost that way as well. So I'll be looking at something called the Delft Donkey Line, um, which took, uh, which was a, a, a connection into Saddleworth, to the mills in Saddleworth. And also that includes um, a long, tunnel much longer than these two um, Lydgate tunnel so I'll be looking at that one um, and that's a, a tunnel very very dear to my heart uh, so I'll see you in the next video <laughs> cheers <laughs>